Hi, I'm Olivia, and today's happy nugget comes from Sarah Gruen, the Canadian writer of the runaway hit Water for Elephants, an action-packed drama set in a Depression-era circus train. I remember when I first read this book, being enamored and amused by the 93-year-old narrator, Jacob Jankowski, from the first pages of Water for Elephants. So what's on the menu tonight? I grumble as I steered into the dining room. Porridge, mushy peas, pablum. Oh, let me guess, it's tapioca, isn't it? It is tapioca. Or are we calling it rice pudding tonight? Oh, Mr. Jankowski, you're a card, the nurse says flatly. She doesn't need to answer and she knows it. This being Friday, we're having the usual nutritious, but an interesting combination of meatloaf, cream corn, reconstituted mashed potatoes, and gravy that may have been waved over a piece of beef at some point in its life. And they wonder why I lose weight. I know some of us don't have teeth, but I do, and I want pot roast. My wife's complete with leathery bay leaves. Sometimes I think that if I had to choose between an ear of corn or making love to a woman, I'd choose the corn. Not that I wouldn't love to have a final roll in the hay. I am a man yet, and some things never die. But the thought of those sweet kernels bursting between my teeth sure sets my mouth to watering. It's fantasy, I know that. Neither will happen. I just like to weigh the options, as though I were standing in front of Solomon. A final roll in the hay or an ear of corn. What a wonderful dilemma. Sometimes I substitute an apple for the corn. Sarah Gruen was born in 1968 in Vancouver, British Columbia. She graduated with a degree in English literature. And up until 2001, when she was laid off, she made her living as a technical writer, writing software manuals. When she lost her job, she was devastated. But she had always wanted to be a fiction writer, so she made a pact with her husband. Two books or two years, whichever came first. If she didn't succeed in fiction, she would go back to writing technical manuals. Water for Elephants was not her first book. It was her third. Her first two are writing lessons and flying changes. Lovely stories featuring horses. Water for Elephants, of course, stars Rosie the Elephant. And her fourth book, Ape House, features Bonobo apes. Animals feature prominently in Sarah Gruen's books, and they're as developed as a human protagonist. She does a beautiful job of bringing the animals to life. Water for Elephants almost didn't get published, even though her first novel had been a moderate success. When Sarah Gruen submitted it to her editor, she rejected it. After months, other editors looked at the manuscript, rejecting it and telling Sarah Gruen that circus books don't sell. Eventually, it sold. The editors who bought it thought it was going to be a quiet little book, but the independent booksellers championed the book, making it the 2007 Book Sense Book of the Year. Water for Elephants captured people's imaginations and sold over five million copies. From a book of interviews called Why We Write, Sarah Gruen talks about the time she was writing. When I first started writing, I had a corner in the living room. I put up a freestanding screen, but that didn't keep the little bodies from coming around the corner and asking for cookies. I could only write when no one else was home. We ran out of money for daycare when my first book didn't sell. So all of a sudden I was taking care of a toddler and trying to write. My husband built me an office, really more of a cage, out of baby gates. My son couldn't unplug the computer anymore, but he could still throw things at me. Somehow I managed to finish my second book, and when it sold, we could afford a babysitter and once again I had the house to myself during the day. That didn't always translate into productivity. At one point I was so stuck on water for elephants that I worked in a walk-in closet. I covered the window and made my husband move his clothes out and pasted pictures of old-time circuses on the walls. We had no Wi-Fi, which was perfect. The only thing I could do was open my file. I figured if I stared at it long enough, something would happen. Apparently I was right, because I finished the book, but I spent four months in that closet. Success doesn't necessarily happen the first time you try. The key to success is perseverance, focus, and dedication to doing something that you love and doing it well. If your work ethic your heart and your talent are in the right place, then success will eventually come knocking. And that's today's Happy Nugget. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. As always, I link below the video anything I recommend. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.